Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing really well. This is going to be a long one. I have quite a lot of fragrances here because we're going to be talking about one of my, if not my favorite scent category in perfumery. Not that it's a category by itself, but anyways, it is tropical florals. If you guys know any, hey, that was not a fart. That was my dogs. They're just here. If you guys know anything about me, it's that I cannot say no to a tropical floral. As soon as I see those notes appear online, coconuts, ylang ylang, vanilla, frangipani, tiare flower, monoi, as soon as I see those type of notes, something happens inside of me. It's like a possession and I just have to have that specific fragrance. So here I have some of my absolute favorite tropical florals. Some of them you guys have heard me talk about, there you go. And some of them are newer to my collection. So without further ado, let's just get into this. And um, as you guys are probably seeing this, I'm already in Europe, but I am obviously at home right now filming. I leave to Europe tomorrow and I am trying to figure out what fragrances I'm going to take with me. I do want to take around like two tropical florals with me. So I think some of these will come with me on vacation. A newer fragrance in my collection that you guys have heard me rave about is the new Chloe Nomad uh, Jasmine Natural Intense. Now, although there is no coconut in here, there is no frangipani, this fragrance overall has a very tropical and beachy feeling. And I am totally head over heels in love with the scent. This is a beautiful jasmine fragrance with quite a bubblegummy sort of sweetness, but not in an overwhelming way, not in like a sickening bubblegum sweetness. It's sweet in the best way possible. It's very warm and very rounded. I believe there is a date note in here. I think there's some vanilla, some heliotrope, jasmine. It's just so gorgeous and overall it does give off quite a tropical feeling so that's why i wanted to include it in this video i actually got this at nice airport and i remember when i smelled it for the first time i was completely blown away and mesmerized by the scent and i bought it immediately after applying it all over my body and it smells just so good like it smells so happy it smells like the summertime it's addictive it's sweet it's floral but nothing is too much in the fragrance i am totally in love with it chloe nomad jasmine natural intense totally recommend it to you guys and it does definitely have this kind of tropical beachy feeling overall one of my absolute favorites is utopia from kayali now this is actually my personal favorite fragrance from the brand i feel like mona she knocked it out of the park launching Utopia. And I think in some way it was inspired by Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford, because I know Mona is a big fan of Soleil Blanc and Tom Ford in general. Not that it smells exactly the same, but if you like that kind of creamy, coconutty floral fragrance, you have to try Utopia. This is so, so incredible. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's coconutty. It has a little bit of like something cacao-ish in the scent. It's so beautiful, so beachy, and it immediately transports me to like a vacation location. Did that even make sense? Vacation location. I always talk about it, but I took this with me to Santorini like two years ago when I went. And now whenever I smell it, it reminds me of Santorini and it smells, I cannot tell you guys like how addictive this smells when you're in like a very hot climate, there is beaches all around you. When you spray this on, you just feel like a goddess. Like it is truly spectacular. The only thing that is kind of annoying about the scent is that the longevity and projection is not the best. I get around six hours of good wear with the scent with a very minimal projection. So I know whenever I spray this one on, I always take it with me so that I can reapply. Personally, I don't mind bringing this one with me. And I do want to tell you guys a crazy layering combination that I did a few months back. It was layering Utopia with Silky Woods from Goldfield and Banks. Oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, it was stunning. That is like a gorgeous layering combination. If any of you guys own both of those fragrances, try layering them together. Silky Woods first and then Utopia. That is insane. So I love the fragrance. It's one of my favorite tropical florals and it's easy to travel with as well.
One that I don't think I have spoken about but I absolutely love is from Arquiste and this fragrance is called Sydney Rockpool. Now I have like a special kind of attachment to this scent because obviously by the name this fragrance was inspired by the Australian summer, more specifically in Sydney. I'm not from Sydney but I know when the owner of this brand, the founder, was explaining the inspiration I just felt something inside of me and this is such a beautiful representation of the Australian summer. If any of you guys wanted to imagine what it feels like to be in Australia during the summertime, go and smell Sydney Rockpool from Arkees because you will feel the essence of Australia as cringy and cheesy as that sounds, it's true. Now this fragrance is very unique, I wouldn't like call it a tropical floral exactly it's very very interesting what i get from sydney rockpool is a lot of frangipani frangipani is very popular in australia and it does personally really remind me of australia and of bali but the scent is just one of my favorite smells in the world is walking past a beautiful huge frangipani tree in the summer and you just get that whiff of how it smells in the air and it really reminds me of what is inside of this bottle. I get a lot of frangipani mixed with this kind of salty muskiness. There is a very prominent salty, slightly aquatic muskiness going on in here and it's just gorgeous. It's kind of creamy. The frangipani is definitely at the front and center mixed with this beautiful kind of skin-like cashmere and feeling. The frangipani is definitely at the forefront of the fragrance mixed with this kind of saltiness, this beautiful kind of cashmere and skin-like quality and it's just beautiful. So I really recommend it. If you guys like the way that it sounds, definitely check out this fragrance. It's not too floral. It definitely doesn't smell like a straight up floral scent. There is quite a lot going on in here, but I feel like the founder definitely perfectly represented the Australian summer. The longevity and projection is not the best if I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. It lasts on my skin around six hours or so. Very soft projection as well, like it definitely doesn't project a lot. It is more of like a skin scent and yeah the longevity I would say is around the six hour mark so it's definitely not a super long lasting scent but I absolutely love it nonetheless and I really recommend checking it out. It's so beautiful. Oud and Intense from Fragrance Du Bois. You guys know that this is my personal favorite when it comes to tropical florals. There is just something about Ujun that I love so much. It's very, very fruity, it's floral, it's sweet, it's punchy, it's creamy, it's just gorgeous. And I've spoke about it so many times that you guys are probably sick of it, but it does really remind me of Bali myself. This fragrance works incredibly well on a summer night. It smells so sexy, just very, I don't know, feminine and goddess-like on the skin and it's just incredible very fruity like almost like a fruity cocktail in a way you have a little bit of that kind of tra flower white floral sort of sensation a little bit of this kind of coconutiness coconutiness did i just make up a word longevity projection is pretty good on ujun i get about seven hours or so with a nice projection but i love wearing this one in a more humid and hot climate it just radiates off of the skin like no other fragrance so I love it. You guys already know one of my favorite tropical florals. Next up, we have Alien Goddess Intense from Mugler. This is definitely one of my favorite designer releases of the last few years. I am totally obsessed head over heels for this scent. If you guys follow me, you know that I am a fan of the original Alien DNA. I became obsessed with it when I turned like 18, I think, and I just could not stop wearing it. Like I would shower myself like 45 sprays in Alien because I love the scent so much. And I am equally as obsessed with this specific flanker. I think it is just incredible. I love that it's taken a more tropical, coconutty, balsamic route. You still have the really famous jasmine note in here, but it's blended with some vanilla, some coconut, and some benzoin. So it feels very warm, very rounded, very balsamic and creamy and sexy on the skin. 
and I cannot tell you how good this stuff is. So if you guys have not tried it yet, you must. I'm sure a lot of you have, but it's such a beautiful fragrance and very, very sexy on the skin. I recommend this one again for like a summer night out. Wow, you're gonna get noticed for sure with this one. Longevity projection is good. It's around seven hours, I would say again. With a nice projection, it's not anything crazy. I remember I wore it last Christmas in Australia, maybe. It was Christmas or it was New Year, but it was one of the two and it just smelled so intoxicating on the skin. And I love layering this fragrance. It's kind of weird, but I, I can't grab it. I love layering this fragrance with Grand Soir from Maison Francis Kirkshon. That is pure perfection. And also I love layering it with Silky Woods from Goldfield and Banks if I want it to be much more sweet and gourmand, but it is just spectacular. Alien Goddess Intense from Rugla, one of my favorite tropical florals. If you guys are an OG of mine and you have been following me since I lived in Australia, since I've been reviewing fragrances for many, many years, you know that I used to love this fragrance right here. This is Memo Paris Granada. Now, this is a super underrated fragrance from Memo. I know that a lot of people love African leather, Madurai, etc. Granada is really overlooked, but it is so gorgeous. And yes, I would kind of consider this fragrance to be a tropical floral, although it doesn't contain coconut or tiare flower or anything like that. I really think that a lot of you guys would really love the scent. Now, I'm gonna simplify it for you. For me, this fragrance smells like a honeyed floral. That's exactly what it smells like to me. It smells like a very warm, honeyed uh, white floral fragrance. If I could imagine in my mind how the note honeysuckle would smell, it would be this fragrance right here. This is what I imagine honeysuckle to smell like. Exactly this. It's just such a beautiful fragrance. I have no idea of the notes. If I remember from back in the day when I used to review it, I think there's some jasmine, maybe orange blossom, maybe some grenadine-like syrup. But for me, what it smells like is this gorgeous, smooth, warm, honeyed floral. It's just beautiful. The longevity projection, again, is not fantastic on this one. I get around six hours of pretty good wear with a minimal projection, but I don't care because I love this fragrance so much. And I do feel like actually it performs quite beautifully on a summer day and also a summer night. So whether it's a little too strong for you to wear in the day, you can definitely wear it at night. But for me, I love wearing it either in the summer day, summer night, it works so well. And it just, for me, it just really smells like summer. So I love the fragrance. I still love it to this day. I'm on a little bit of a memory kick right now. Like I'm wearing Madurai quite a lot. Granada. I'm wearing African leather. I'm also wearing Lali Bella, which is a very nice fragrance as well. But yeah, I'm on a bit of a memory kick. Another one that I have spoken about so much, so I'm just going to quickly talk about it. It is Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee from Paris Monte Carlo. Now, I do have to say this to me is the best, one of the best tropical florals on the market today. Definitely the best Ylang Ylang interpretation that I have smelled. Now, a lot of people, when they think of Ylang Ylang, they think of Ylang in Gold from M. Mikalef. Now, I love Ylang in Gold, you guys know it, I love it so much, but in my opinion, that is not really a true representation of what Ylang Ylang smells like. Ylang in Gold is very vanillic and coconutty and fruity and it's so gorgeous. If you want an actual Ylang Ylang fragrance, try Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee. You really feel that prominent note of Ylang Ylang, that super balmy yellow floral in here. This is just incredible, like incredible. It's so smooth and balmy and creamy and sweet and exotic. There is something extremely exotic about the way, uh, blah, 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 blah. there is something really exotic about Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee. It just smells so natural, so, I don't know, indolic in a way. It's very sexy, it's very sensual, it's very powerful, it's just incredible. So I could not recommend this fragrance enough to you guys. 
Again, like I said, it is very strong in Ylang Ylang, so make sure that you do actually like the note of Ylang Ylang. There's a lot of vanilla, a really kind of warm creaminess, definitely a woodiness in the base. It is just beautiful. Totally recommend it, especially when it comes to tropical florals. This is definitely something that I recommend you guys to check out. Okay, going on to a little bit of a cheapie that is definitely coming with me on vacation. Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance. I am totally obsessed. I am totally obsessed with this scent. I think it is spectacular. I don't know why, but I am I am hooked on the Sol de Janeiro body sprays like most of us are. I feel like everything about the brand, the fragrances, they're just so good, especially for the price. Like everything about it just makes me happy. Like the bottles make me happy. The fact that they're so easy to travel with, so easy to take with you if you need to top up your scent. Everything about them is just perfect. And I love the new launch, Rio Radiance. Now in here you have tube rose and coconut, and that is exactly what I get. So what I get from Rio Radiance is this gorgeous, coconutty, salty floral scent. You definitely feel the florals, but not in a way where it smells too traditional or actually like a floral fragrance. It's just kind of in there along with the coconut and that kind of salty vibe. A little bit of vanilla, something creamy, something sweet and something floral. And it's just amazing. This will definitely come with me along with the Shirosa 62 because for me, those fragrances just smell like summer to me and I need to bring them with me every single year. I'm obsessed, I love it, totally recommend it. Rio Radiance from Sol de Janeiro. Okay guys, so next up we have Luby Ma from Christian Louboutin. Now I actually saw that they just launched another fragrance. I think it's called Luby Horse maybe. And the notes are drawing me in. It's Neroli, Vanilla and something else, but it looks amazing. And I heard that it's a fantastic fragrance. So now I cannot stop thinking about it. But Luby Ma, you guys, smells really similar to Rouge Malachite from Armani Privé. That is the only reason why I didn't put Rouge Malachite in here. Otherwise, you guys know it would have been in the list. And also, I kind of want to stop talking about it. I feel like I've been talking about it for so many years and it's my baby and I just kind of want to stop. Luby Ma is a much fresher interpretation of something like Rouge Maliki. You still have those beautiful florals, but there is a very prominent citrusiness in the opening and a kind of salty feeling overall. And it's just gorgeous. Like this fragrance flies really under the radar, but I cannot tell you how incredible that it smells, especially in the heat. I'm so sad because I would love to travel with this fragrance, but I feel like that's just not the smartest idea going off of the bottle. And plus the bottle weighs like five kilos. Like it's so heavy. Otherwise I would definitely travel with it. But this is so gorgeous. You have that beautiful kind of creamy white florals. There is a beautiful brightness on the top from some citruses. And there is definitely kind of like a salty feeling and a nice kind of cashmere in touch underneath. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance that I recommend to all of you lovers of Rouge Maliki. You should try Luby Ma from Christian Louboutin. Not because they're exactly the same, they're not dupes or anything like that, but I feel like they're in the same vibe of that kind of beachy, white, floral, creamy. This is just gorgeous. Another designer, look at me go with all of my designer recommendations. We have Narcisa Rodriguez um, Ombre. I think it's called Ombre. Now, this fragrance is so gorgeous. And when I got it, I think I got it maybe last year or the year before, I was in love, obviously, because of the notes. Ylang Ylang, vanilla, musk, very creamy, tropical. But my problem with this scent is the longevity is so poor on this fragrance that I was so devastated after wearing it a few times. I would like go to Pierre and be like, can you smell me? Like, what do you think of my scent? And he would be like, I can't smell you like at all. The same thing happened to me with um, Moonlight in Heaven, even though it doesn't stop me from wearing the scent. Whenever I ask Pierre, like, what do you think? And he tells me he can't smell me. That is probably the saddest thing I have experienced. Like I hate when people cannot smell my fragrance because I'm obsessed with scent and I really don't like it when they don't last. So this fragrance, although I absolutely love it, it only lasts around five hours on my skin, like four or five hours, and then I don't smell it at all. But in terms of the scent, if you guys don't mind the longevity aspect, please check this one out. It is truly gorgeous. You have Ylang Ylang, Frangipani, Amber, Vanilla, Musk. This is just 
so beautiful again they're all kind of the same in this video more or less so there's not too much to say about it but it's gorgeous like really really gorgeous i just wish that it lasted longer on my skin um but still check it out still give it a try because the scent dna is perfect it really has that tropical floral feeling with the sweetness from the vanilla and the muskiness and a nice woody base 10 out of 10, but the longevity sucks. One of the newer fragrances to my collection is Penhaligon's Solaris. Now, again, I saw the notes, I saw the notes online, I saw the bottle, I saw the name, and obviously I wanted to own it immediately. I got this fragrance a few weeks ago, and I am gonna spoil it, I am obsessed with this fragrance. This fragrance is very different to most of the fragrances in this video because it has a really prominent citrusiness, a really prominent greenness mixed with all of those tropical florals. I was not expecting to love this fragrance as much as I do. When I first got it, I was like, whoa, that is way more citrusy, way more fresh than I was expecting. But the more and more that I wore it, the more and more that I fell head over heels in love with this fragrance. This is definitely coming with me this summertime. I personally don't own many fresh tropical floral scents. And that is what makes this fragrance stand out amongst anything in my collection is that really bright and citrusy opening. So you have some lemon and neroli that really come forward in the opening. But then as it starts to settle, you feel that beautiful tiare flower, jasmine, ylang ylang, vanilla, musk, and it's just gorgeous. But let me say, this fragrance maintains an overall freshness throughout the wear of the scent and I think that it is incredible like I'm telling you guys I was not expecting to love it as much as I do because when I want a tropical floral I want it to be creamy round sweet uh, I want it to be all of the tropical vibes I love that they put the citrusiness the greenness the brightness with those more tropical florals and the creaminess I think that it works so incredibly well and I recommend this fragrance so much you guys and what I love is that the longevity projection is fantastic on the scent on my skin I get around seven hours of really good wear with a nice projection I am obsessed I am in love and it is definitely coming with me on vacation next up we have some gold Goddess from Musicology. Now I have been wearing this fragrance non-stop recently and I have a combination you guys like a layering combination that is so addictive and so incredible and so unexpected but I cannot take credit for it because it was a go on TikTok um, Anastasia. Her content is more focused around like lifestyle, outfits, beauty, like makeup and all of that but she did a layering combination of Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford and Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone. And I was like, that's a really good idea. Like the saltiness from Jo Malone, Wood Sage and Sea Salt is probably gonna bring out that coconutiness, that marine touch. So I tried it. I tried it with Sun Goddess and Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I have no words. That combination, you guys, is crazy. So if you own Soleil Blanc and Wood Sage and Sea Salt, or if you own Sun Goddess and Wood Sage and Sea Salt, try layering them. You will thank me or you will thank this girl because the combo is incredible. So Sun Goddess for me is like the better version of Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. This is addictive, like so, so addictive and sensual on the skin. You have some frangipani, you have some heliotrope. So it does kind of bring a little bit of a smooth, slightly sweet almondy touch to the scent. It's just gorgeous, you guys. Like very beachy, very creamy, very tropical, very warm white floral that I'm just totally head over heels in love with. So Sun Goddess from Musicology, a 10 out of 10 tropical floral with pretty good longevity and projection. I get around six to seven hours of pretty good wear with Sun Goddess and then I can't really smell it anymore. To be honest, none of these fragrances in this list are like super beast mode, I would say besides Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee. Um, and that's probably it, to be honest. So you're kind of expecting all of these fragrances to last around the six hour mark, give or take. But I love the scent. Like, I don't care if it doesn't last 12 plus hours. I just love this fragrance. It's so perfect. It's so beautiful. And I love it so much. I just bought this the other day. 
on discount. This is La Vie Belle, I think it's Soleil Cristal. So I remember the first time that I smelled this fragrance, it was like maybe two years ago, like when it just launched and I was in the airport in the Maldives, I believe, like in Malay airport. And I walked past it and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I need it. I don't really love La Vie Belle anymore, but I need this flank car. I need it, I need it, I need it. And I smelled it again and I was like, do I really need it though? Like I already have so many scents. Like I don't need to buy, I don't need to buy myself this one. Like just forget about it. But I couldn't forget about it. For like two years, I have thought about this scent. For two years, I have gone to the airport so many times and smelled it and been like, is it now? It's my time now to buy it. So I bought it last week. I bought it at like a discount shop here in Dubai and I am so happy to have it. Now I do want to say something. This is definitely, let me just say, definitely my favorite Love Your Bell flanker by far. And for me, it doesn't really smell like Love Your Bell, the original. I know so many people hate Love Your Bell, kind of myself included. I don't hate the scent, but it's just not what I want to smell like anymore. But I feel like the Soleil Cristal flanker doesn't really smell that much like Love Your Bell. But what I do have to say is this fragrance is very, very, very potent, like very potent. So it might give you a headache because the other day I was wearing it and I don't want to, I, I hope it was just like a fluke and it's never going to happen again, but I had a massive headache and I don't know if it was because I was wearing this scent, but I had a huge headache, but it doesn't matter because I love the fragrance. I'm going to try to wear it again and see if it gives me a headache, but I love this. I love this. It's very sweet. You have the coconut, vanilla, you have all of those florals like ylang ylang, tiare, etc. But it is beautiful. It is so, so beautiful and so addictive. Wow. It's just gorgeous. I haven't worn it properly yet. I only wore it the other day and it gave me a headache. So I need to test it out again, but I really want to recommend you guys to go and check this one out at least because if you're like me and you don't really want to wear La Vie Belle anymore, try the Soleil Cristal because you may love it. It does have something a little bit screechy about it, but I don't really care to be honest. Like I feel like this fragrance on a summer night, I feel like it would smell intoxicating on somebody's skin. So I'm rolling with it. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to embrace it. I am so happy to own it because I, like I told you guys, I've been kind of like thinking about this fragrance for two years since the first time that I smelled it. And I'm just so happy that I finally own it. So La Vie Belle Cristal, Soleil Cristal from Lancome. Gorgeous fragrance, super potent, really strong, lasts all day on the skin. And I'm sure it will get compliments this one because it is very strong. That is it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I know it was a long one, so yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys again for watching and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.